This meeting is being recorded. Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om Sada Shiva Samaram Bam Shankaracharya Madhyamam Asmadacharya Varyandam Mande Guru Paramparam Shruti Smriti Pranam Alayam Karunalayam Namami Bhagavat Padam Shankaram Loka Shankaram Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Badarayanam Sutra Bhashya Grata Uvande Bhagavanto Punapunaha Ishro Guru Ratmeti Murti Veda Vibhagine Vyomavad Vyapta Dehaya Dakshina Murtaye Namaha Kukara Sundhagaro Vairukara Stan Nivartakaha Amdhagara Niroditvat Guru Vidhi Yade Om Sahana Vavadu Sahana Uvanaktu Sahavir Yangarava Vahi Tejasvina Vadhi Tamastuma Vidvishavahi E Om Shanti 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 Om Badrangarne Vishunyama Deva Badrambashe Makshabi Rejatra Stirirangi is to Stuagum Sastanovi Jema Deva Hitanjadayu Sostina Indro Dashava Sostina Pusha Vishaveda Sostina Starkshio Arishtanemi Sostino Brahaspatir Dadhatu Om Shanti 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 Om Namo Brahma Vidyas and Pradayak Yodamaham Om Pragyanam Shukratani Stira Charanikar of Vyapi Vir Vyapyalo Khan Uktua Bhogan Stavishtan Punarapidishan of Bhasitan Kamajanyan Pitwa Sarvan Viseshan Sopiti Madurabung Maya Bhojayanaha Maya Sinkya Turi Yam Paramamatamajam Brahmayatan Nados me Tadeta te Sushuptam Stana Masya iti Sushupta Stanaha Stana Doya Pravibhaktam Manas Panditam Dvaita Jatam Tata Rupa Aparityagena Avive Kahapanam Naisha Tamo Grastamiva Ahaf Prapanchakam Yeki Bhutam Mitichate Ataha Yeva Sopna Jagran Manas Pandanani Pragyanani Ghani Bhutani Ve Tatasta Lakshana Drishta Srishti is one of the methods Prakriya by which the Upanishad tries to take us to the point from which you can see. You can see the total vision. Like Kudremuk. Kudremuk is a place in Karnataka where you climb and climb and climb and then go to a particular point from which you see the whole horizon, right? The whole, so you go to a tip cliff, go to a cliff in a mountain to a place. So you are taken to a place from which you can see the whole scenic atmosphere. So that is a way of giving you a vision of totality. So this Prakriya also takes you to a point from which you can see that the Gnapti or Jnanam the content of Nyapti is what is everything. The content that is the what what makes the Pragna is Sarvam. To gain that vision, we start from where we are. Where are we? We are in a vacant state experience. Sitting here, I am experiencing a world. 
and i want a solution in the vacan my problems are also is are in the vacan not in sushupti or swapna even though a little bit is there in swapna but it's a very temporary thing whereas vacan continues whatever happened yesterday today also i have an impact of it unlike a swapna so technically swapna and sushupti are of least concern so my problem is in the waking waken and i need a solution in the waken i am right now in the waken so it is all about waken only but to understand the waken shastra takes you to swapna and deep sleep states and then shows eka eva tridaspata it is all one pragna only that you are seeing as either waken or swapna or deep sleep so the point is through a dream through the deep sleep the shastra tries to show you what is the content of all the three states can you not see that everywhere what is invariable is the pragna the gnapti that is the method of this particular avastha atraya prakriya this is a methodology so you should not ask we know what is a dream we know what is deep sleep why should shastra talk about it's not about dream and everybody knows it is about the content of it look at it from a standpoint of nyapti jnanam prajna then everything is it's about how you it's a it's a magician and magic thing right so if you are under the spell of magic you see all kinds of things but the magician doesn't see all kinds of things he knows what is the content of it so from uh, un- being under the spell of magic the shastra is trying to take you to the vision of a magician so look at it from behind the magic not in front of the magic तदेतत् सुषुप्तं स्थानमस्य द प्रज्ञास पोजीशन एट दिस टाइम इज फ्रॉम द पर्सपेक्टिव ऑफ डीप स्लीप दैट इज व्हाई इट इज स्थानम विद रेफरेंस टू डीप स्लीप दिस प्रज्ञा it is in the, this it all the three states you have only pragna in the first state this external internal vishaya vishayi sambandha is where the pragna is that is why sthanam the pragna is in an experience of external and internal in the vekan the pragna is in the experience of vasana in dream state pragna is in the sushupta sthana deep sleep anubhava so this pragna is it is like this pragna just going and having these experiences and experiences so this waken comes dream comes deep sleep comes dream comes deep sleep comes waken comes dream comes it just goes like that and the pragna is just seeing like a tennis ball going from one side to the other you are witnessing it the game that's like a sakshi pratyaksha as a witness pragna is witnessing nyapti nyaha is witnessing waken comes dream comes deep sleep comes dream comes deep sleep comes waken comes deep sleep comes dream comes you can all you can't go from waken to the dream directly 
you have to go from vacant to the deep sleep and from deep sleep only you can go to dream from deep sleep only you can wake up through dream you can wake up but you can't directly go from vacant to dream and then wake up that's not possible you have to go to the deep sleep that's why dwaramasya he is going to say shastra is going to say for everything the dwaram is prajna deep sleep is from where everything else is brought forth sthana dvaya pravibhaktam manaspanditam dvaita jatam tatha roopa aparityagena aviveka apannam naisha tamograstamiva ah prapanchakam ekibhutam iti ucchate sthana dvaya pravibhaktam already two sthanams were spoken varish prajna and anta prajna so the bahir vishaya the antar bahi that veda that jagarita sthana bahish prajna jagaritam sthanam asya iti jagarita sthana that is the first sthana the first place is in the state of being vacant then we had the swapna sthana the dream position perspective these are bo- both darshana vrittis darshana darshana vrittiyo ho bhashikara had told earlier you are seeing some things either as vishaya vishayi sambandha or as vasana there is a darshanam going on therefore they are both man- manaspanditam so sthana dvaya pravibhaktam manaspanditam we already saw that even the vekan is manaspanditam it is all perceptions experience of perception perceived experiences vekan is also nothing but series of experiences unbroken series of experiences i experience tangibles intangibles emotions everything it is nothing but experience and experiences are subtle that is nothing gross the grossness also is experienced so the whole bahish prajna is nothing but series of experiences unbroken flow like a taila dharavati it just flows that's why in bhagavad gita bhashya in nasato vidyade bhavah bhashyagara says gatassan patassan matassan that sun sun pratriya pratyaya not pratyaya i mean the the sun astitvam as a the pratyaya not the grammar pratyaya as pratiti as a cognition the isness cognition is unbroken whether you see a mat or rat or a pot or a mug or the sky or the or you are aware of anger or happiness or whatever the astitvam or satta or the isness is always there that is unbroken so it is all series of experiences connected or unconnected the experience is what is that is called vacant which means what they are manaspanditam the moment you say it's all experience it is antakarana it's all in antakarana only the bahishkaranam also is antakarana anubhava only therefore it is manaspanditam vekan also is manaspanditam and the content of mana is 
द प्रज्ञा द ज्ञप्ति इट इज अवेयरनेस और कॉन्शियसनेस विच अपटेन्स एस एक्सटर्नल वर्ल्डली एक्सपीरियंस नाउ यू विल से नो नो आई एम टचिंग अ रॉक हाउ कैन यू से इट इज ऑल कॉन्शियसनेस मनस्पंदित दर इज अ फिजिकल रॉक that is how grass it can get right i have a very hard rock and i am touching it how can you say it is all manaspanditam it's not my own imagination that is an actual rock no not like dream where as though rock is there and then it vanishes evaporates well when you say there is rock how do you say there is rock because you are able to touch it feel it there is hardness which i can feel and there is a rupa it is in this shape i am able to see the rupa and suppose i lick it i can say it as a taste and then two rocks hit one on the other there is a sound so i can hear sound and then it is a rock i can smell the smell of the stone just stalic mate whatever smell is there so i can say there is a tangible rock because it it smells it tastes it has a rupa it has a touch and i can hear it knocking against each other so your conclusion that there is a rock is based on the five sensory inputs that you received so eventually it is the five sensory knowledge acquisition that has happened a sensory experiences set of sensory experiences now the sensory experience themselves is subtle only what is the content of that experience when i say there is a touch it is touch awareness you see where it is headed when i taste there is taste awareness taste is nothing but an awareness only touch is nothing but an awareness only it's an experience only content of it is chaitanya was chaitanya only and that awareness is my swarupa and there is all that is there is series of these awarenesses consciousnesses and i can't say series if i can i i can say series only if there is something in between but if it is there is only ekara satvam there is nothing in between and then i can't say series but it's a continuum that's why there is nothing and this continuum also i say with reference to time earlier there was rock consciousness now there is iron consciousness so from time perspective i can say there is a experience continuum or series of experiences but the content of time also is only chetanatvam chaitanya only so now where is time there is no space there is no time so it is manaspanditam everything is is just as though dvaita jatam born as dual or from dual द्विधा विभक्त दो मी एंड अदर दैन मी वॉट इज दिस अदर दैन मी द अदर दैन मी आलो इज एक्सपीरियंस ओनली एंड एक्सपीरियंस इज लाइक ए सेट कॉन्शियसनेस आर अवेरनेस द कंटेंट ऑफ इट इज मी इज अदर दैन मी हेज इट्स एक्सिस्टेंस इन मी इनफैक्ट दर इज नो अदर दैन मी because that is also experience only 
Tatarupa Aparityagena, this Dvaitam is born of this, born as in as though born. Tatarupa Aparityagena Avivekapannam. The whatever was seen as dual in the vacant state, whatever is seen as dual in the dream state, that will again you will see when you wake up or when you get to the dream. Means that ability to spin duality is still there as a capacity and that capacity is for now in an unmanifest state in deep sleep. So Naisha Damokrastam Iva Ahav Prapanchakam like the all the objects that you see in the vacan, during vacan, if there is total darkness, how it is all one bunch of darkness. Likewise, all this capacity to spin is a spin world within the mind is now in a subdued state. And because of which it is Gani Bhutam, it is total darkness. Whatever whole thing experience of dream and vacan that you are having is shrouded in darkness of ignorance. Therefore, Naisha Tamograstam even. Like in the night, how all the objects of experience are crowded by the darkness, like a carpet, a black carpet covering all the things in your home. When someone visits, you don't have enough time to arrange your things. There are so many things laying around. You put it all in one corner, cover it with a black, dark carpet or some blanket and keep like a flower vase on top. Like that, this darkness, if it covers the whole world, how it will be? It is Yeki Bhutam. One bag, one lump of darkness. Like that is your deep sleep. And that darkness is witnessed by you. That is what is important. Because you don't vanish. If you vanish during deep sleep, you will have a loss of time. It's 11.23 now. And I go to deep sleep and wake up. I won't know that I went to deep sleep and wake up. Suddenly the clock from 11.23 would have become 11.44. You would have lost 21 minutes because you didn't exist those 21 minutes, right? But that doesn't happen. You come back and say, oh, 20 minutes has gone. My God. I was feeling... It's a much shorter thing. Or sometimes, oh, only 20 minutes has gone. I thought I slept for a long time. Why are you able to say this? How are you able to say this? Because you are witnessing that darkness. That Yeki Bhutatvam is known. Sthanadvaya Pravibhaktam Manaspanditam Dvaita Jatam Tatarupa Aparityagena. The duality, the capacity to spin the duality is not gone. It is there in unmanifest form in your deep sleep. So your ability to spin the world, your ability as in, I mean, it's not that you consciously spin the world. The mind's ability is there in unmanifest form. That is how the pralaya also. Srishti Stiti Pralaya, we already spoke about it. Ishvara manifests the world like that after Pralaya. Then all your Kalpa and Yuga and Jadur Yuga and all that is, is spun. Atahayeva Sopna Jagran Manaspandanani Pragyanani Ghani Bhutani Iva Therefore, it is like Ghani Bhuta, the solidification of the darshana, which is possible. The, the vision, all the visions or experiences which are spun 
in the waken and the dream all that is being solidified into one lump of experience which has been darkened so take all the things paint them all black put it in one corner that is deep sleep seyam avastha viveka rupatvat prajnana ghanah uchyate iyam avastha this state because there is no distinction between anything and the another thing aviveka rupatvat you don't have the ability to identify things or what it's all there as one mass of darkness therefore it's been named as prajnana ghanah yatha ratrau naishena tamasa avibhajyamanam sarvam ghanamiva tadvat prajnana ghanah eva he just explains why this ghana like avibhajyamanam sarvam tamasa in the night because of darkness you are not able to say there is a stool here there you so you get up in the night and go to drink water you don't know where what is lying yesterday after evening you don't remember what you put where things straying here and there so you just go and hit one table why because tamasa avibhajyamanam in the darkness you are not able to distinguish a table from a wall to a pathway likewise it is there in the deep sleep ratrau naishena tamasa avibhajyamanam sarvam ghanamiva tadvat it's like that same way only in deep sleep it's all there in your mind the ability is there but it is not distinctly known it's all just by tamas tamo guna also your mind has been put to sleep temporarily eva shabda atna jati antaram prajnana vyatireka nasti ityartaha prajnana ghana eva is used the eva means alone so he is, is explaining saying there is no other jati other than this prajna there is nothing else in this state prajnana vyatireka na na jati antaram asti other than the awareness there is no other category you can say avyagrata is there avyagrata is not tangible you just see prajna that's it you just realize that i have i had an experience of nothing nothingness was experienced by me you have to come and say so the darkness is probably the other jati maximum you can say that but that is actually not a jati it's a, it's actually a what do you say abhava absence of any experience is what you should say our experience of darkness is expressed as absence so it's not a it's not a jati is what he's saying na jati antaram jati means a category jati means category okay in tamil people think jati means okay because it's a human category we use the word jati but jati is a category a group ಮನಸಃ ವಿಷಯ ವಿಷಯಾಕಾರ ಸ್ಪಂದನಾಯ ಸ ದುಃಖ ಭಾವ ಮನಸಃ ವಿಷಯ ವಿಷಯಾಕಾರ ಸ್ಪಂದನ ಆಯಾಸ ದುಃಖ ಭಾವ ಆನಂದಮಯ ಆನಂದ ಪ್ರಾಯ ನ ಆನಂದ ಸೊ ಆನಂದಮಯ ಡೀಪ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಇಸ್ ಆನಂದಮಯ we all get up and say i slept very happily vakya is susupta sthanah eki bhutah prajnana ghanah eva anandamayah that eva kara just now we explained because prajna alone is there therefore prajnana ghanah eva and then anandamayah he ananda bhuk so what does this in this state this nyaha does it eats ananda ananda bhuk ananda maya so happy i happily slept i had a good sleep was refreshing 
பொய் விஷய விஷய ஆகார ஸ்பந்தன ஆயாச துக்க அபாவாத் வாட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் இன் ஒய் ஒய் ஆம் ஐ ஹாப்பி இன் ஸ்லீப் ஐ ஷுட் பி ஹாப்பி இன் வேக்கன் நோ பிகாஸ் ஐ ஹாவ் சோ மெனி திங்ஸ் விஷய என்ஜாய்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் திங்ஸ் டு டூ இஸ் தேர் ஐ ஷுட் என்ஜாய் தி வேக்கன் நாட் டீப் ஸ்லீப் ஐ வாஸ் கவர்ட் ஃபுல்லி பை டார்க்னஸ் there was no experience there was no vishaya not even my wife and children all my wealth and car and dear, nothing was visible in the deep sleep so i should come out crying no last 8 hours i didn't even see my porsche bmw i didn't even look at this beautiful house i couldn't eat any food because i was in deep sleep only darkness invaded my life for 8 hours i hate this sleep nothing i was able to enjoy no vishaya was i was able to perceive not even watch movie internet whatsapp was completely gone i didn't even have dreams it was useless 8 hours wasted in my life is what you should say but that's not what we say we come out and say ha ah, 8 hours i had a great sleep ha huh? you lost 8 hours bus and you are saying you are happy because ayasa dukkha abhava all this vishaya vishaya aakara spandana ayasa in the the tiredness the tiredness of spinning of this subject object duality and being engaged in it itself is a tiring business he says ayasa what ayasa vishaya vishayi aakara spandana ayasa the subject object spinning effort leads to a tiredness i am tired of this duality oh i have done enough today i am going to take rest and then you go to sleep ah, i am happy right because that is ayasa not to your physical tiredness even watching tv all day you are tired thinking about things just to sit in one whole day you just sit and then keep imagining thinking even then you get tired because tiredness is not only physical tiredness mentally you get tired your indriyas get tired and then of course your body gets tired here he says vishaya vishayi aakara spandana ayasa dukkha bhava so it's not about physical tiredness is talking about the whole thing is it's being looked at from prajna perspective the same prajna it was spinning this jagat ishwara srishti and jeeva srishti both are going together no that is ishwara srishti there is jeeva srishti what is ishwara srishti the sun and moon and the skies and mountains and places around you and the wall and all this is ishwara srishti what is jeeva srishti shobhana adhyasa my super imposing this is mine this is my world this is my father this is a, i will get this i will acquire this is my car i just lost 100 rupees today all this is jeeva srishti your shobhana adhyasa i have i am worried i am unhappy all this jeeva srishti it's your own mental adhyasa called shobhana adhyasa or any other kind of adhyasa that is jeeva srishti both are going on generally ishwara srishti can give you some tiredness okay but most of it comes from jeeva srishti only if your mind is too active into all this samsara samsarika thing then it becomes tired if you are detached the more and more you are detached from things more and more you are away from shobhana adhyasa or less and less is adhyasa for you 
you are more calm even when you wake up then your ayasa comes down that's why jnani is and all when you have a complete detachment then sleep is all very little it's not needed because that ayasa is not there only little bit of physical ayasa might be there or your food induced things like tiredness sometimes you don't eat body related that isura srishti tiredness is always possible right that jnani or ajnani it is the same but this jiva srishti things right jiva vyavahara that ayasa is reduced the more you are jnani more there is nishta that ayasa comes down because you are not struggling all through the day with your mind so vishaya vishaya aakara spandana aayasa dukha that is the dukha the tiredness your mind see the things happen there is these are situations happen it's not that everything is i am not saying everything is imagined dukha only that's not what we are saying situations happen like sir, your car may get into an accident it's not like it is a reason for you to be unhappy right the external situations do happen that's why ishwara srishti niyati and all that we are not dismissing but then you look at it when you say my car what is mine there the mine is in the, with reference to this body and what it acquired and again it doesn't acquire see when i say i acquired then so many things have gone into it i had to work for it i had an intelligence to do it the intelligence was given by you know my buddhi is given by ishwara the ability to study was given by ishwara that i could study contribution was from my parents my teachers so on top of all these things we sit and do something and then we think it is ours oh it is my car i gained it like like that the pride comes but if you see underneath everything is given the raw materials are all provided for so there is nothing yours and again it is a samyoga vyoga antah the time it came to you itself you know that it is going to be gone sometime whether it is car or this body or anything it's all bound now you see this then this ayasa comes down because you can't avoid cars getting into accident you can't completely avoid it now it is going to happen tasmat apariharya te natvam shochitam arhasi in bhagavad gita when you can't do much one thing you can do is handle your mind those are all ayasa that's why i'm talking about it vishaya vishaya aakara spandana ayasa dukha abhava that ayasa is fun in your mind and it's all pragna also that is also pragna only that's why it's a, this it's a pragna vishaya only but vashikara sai that ayasa and that pragna ayasa is now gone in deep sleep so it is ananda maya ananda prachuryam is there hai ananda because you are close to your swarupa you and your swarupa alone is there you don't you don't have gnanam see if that gnanam is there even in vekan you will be having the same one because there also then that ayasa will not be there only swarupa will be there but because that gnanam is not there only in deep sleep you have the ananda because the ayasa is all in avyagrata whereas in the vekan the ayasa is manifest ananda praya this is advaitam simple ananda praya na ananda eva it is not ananda itself because the vyakritam is there you are not only in that's why i said vekan is what is the problem we are trying to solve not deep sleep there is nothing in vekan when the gnanam is there then it's a ananda because it's swarupa ananda so don't think that okay brahma jnanam is like deep sleep ananda no 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 that's not the point that's why see bashikara says na ananda eva it's not ananda swarupa but it's a prachurya 
prayaha because ayasa is not there vai anatyantikatvat ananda swarupa there is it's to there is no end to it it is this one is na atyantikam this is not an infinite time wise limited only for the period you are sleeping it is there there also there is limitation and you are not aware of the ananda swarupa but there is still the bhogam of some kind of an ananda higher than what is in waking and dream therefore he gives an example yatha loke nirayasastita sukhi ananda bukuchyate atyanta anayasa roopa hiyam stiti hi anena anubhuyate iti ananda buk like in the vacant state when he says yatha loke in bahish prajna in the vacant state in the world nirayasastita one who is not doing anything who is not putting lot of effort he is sitting in one place in one easy chair said ji will be sitting in the if you go to all this banaras and all these places the milk dukan will be there no not milk, milk sweets place and all that so there will be halwa peda all these things will be there rabadi in all these and then there will be people who will be like making these sweets there will be five or six guys there will be one big shop and one corner somebody will be making this tooth ki halwa in another place somebody is making some rabadi somewhere someone is making them you know laddu bensan laddu all that right there will be one said ji will be sitting in the middle in one easy chair with pawn in his mouth and then he will be saying hey karo o karo like that will be sitting now if you look at all these people what do you say look at that said ji he is just happily without effort sitting maybe his mind is is more active and he is guiding people all that is going on but निराया is an enjoyer likewise is your deep sleep all your in the so in waken also you can be like said ji if you can understand you are swarupa then let indriya do its job let mind do its job like see you are sitting your heart is doing its job liver is doing its job is not sitting a idle no kidney is doing its job brain is doing its job. it's all they are all doing their job and still you are sitting you are not right now observing hey is my heart pumping properly is my liver no right it is going on likewise if you are a jnani then you just let everything do their job mind also can do its own job anger comes okay anger came and you witness something oh i witness something so swarupa is undisturbed that is niraya sastiti even when you are vekan like your said ji you can be the niraya sa whereas here the example is about deep sleep so it is loke niraya sastiti sita sukhi ananda bhukuchyate atyanta anaya sarupa hi yam stiti hi deep sleep is like that it just you are just lying there anavar of what is all there just you and your ignorance you are happily there anena that ignorance is in unmanifest form anena anubhuyate iti anandamukh 
That is Ananda Bhukta. Yeshosya Paramananda Haiti Shute. Pradhanik also says, This is a Paramananda, which is a deep sleep. This is Paramananda. Swapna di Pretty Boa, the Jet of Pretty Dwari, Bhuta Twa, Cheto Mukaha. Okay. Now it is Shastra says it is Cheto Mukaha. Given it a name, Cheto Mukaha. Mukha means mouth. Dwaram. Dwaram Mukha is Dwaram. It's the way, like your mouth is the way to food to enter. So it's called Mukha. Mukha generally, mouth is called Mukha, right? Dwaram. Bodha Lakshanam Va Chetaha Dwaram. Likewise, he says Swapnadi Pratibodha Chetaha Prati Dwari Bhuta Dwat Cheto Mukha. So just Chit Ghana is the Pragnana Ghana and it is a mukha, this one, this one, pragnana, this, uh, what is that? Um, Sushupti is the, is like a mouth to cheta, chit. Yeah. So the two ways of looking at it. One is Swapanadi Pratiboda Cheta Pratit Dwari Bhuta Twat Cheto Mukaha. The second is Boda Lakshanam Va Chetaha Dwaram Mukham Asya Swapanadi Agamanam Pratiti Cheto Mukaha. One it is saying for which Chetaha is Mukha, is a Dwaram. Or because of this dwaram, chetaha is obtained. So it, it is whether you are going into cheta or away from cheta. That's all. When I say there is a entrance to a room, you can look at it as an entrance to get into the room or it is an exit door to come out of the room. Both ways it's mukaha only. You know? It's a dwaram. It's an entrance. Entrance can be for entry or exit, correct? So he is approaching it both ways. It can be called Cheto Mukaha. If you take it like Swapnadi Pratibodha, Cheta Prati Dwari Bhuta Dwari. For entering to this Prajnana Gana, Swapnam and Vekan are coming through this entrance. This becomes an entrance to just cheta chetaha, becoming cheta. I from a vacan, okay. Let me put it in simple words. In vacan, I I want to get into this ananda. Which ananda? This deep sleep ananda. Or I want to not, I wouldn't say deep sleep because deep sleep is cheta mukaha. So I want to get the pragnana ghana ananda. Okay, so if I have to get to Pragnana Ghana Ananda, what should I do? I need to get to deep sleep. So deep sleep becomes my door to enter Pragnana Ghana. Okay, therefore it is called Pragnana Ghana entrance. Cheto Mukaha. Pragnana Ghana is Chetaha, Mukaha is entrance. So it becomes an entrance to. So as a vacant person, if I want to get into Prajnanagana, this becomes an entrance. That's what is the first meaning. Swapna, swapna adi pratibodha chetaha prati dwari bhuta dvad. So it becomes an entrance for swapna etc. to get into Prajnanagana. The second one is bodha lakshanam va chetaha dwaram mukham asya iti swapna adi agamanam prati. So to get to Swapnam, so look at it from the other way. I am already in deep sleep. That is my basic state. 
like when a child is born it is all darkness from there only the baby becomes to experience the world slowly so bodha lakshanam chetaha so the bodha the cheta is bodham ability to cognize that is what is chetaha and how does it get in to see if only from deep sleep i can get to the swapna or waken i can't get into like i already said i can't get to the dream or swapnam directly from waken i have to first to go to deep sleep and from deep sleep only i can get to swapna but deep sleep i can either go to swapna deep sleep i can also wake up so it is a deep sleep from which both swapnam and waken are possible you can go to waken through dream or directly but you can go to dream only from deep sleep so deep sleep is from where the entrance to waken and dream are there so that is the other way so there also you can say cheto mukha that is the second vipatti bodha lakshanam va chetaha dwaram mukham asya swapnaadi agamanam prati iti cheto mukha but why the name pragnya ha that bashikara says bhuta bhavishya jnatrutvam sarva vishaya jnatrutvam asya iva iti pragnya all the knowledge about what happened in the past what is going to happen in the future thinking about it and at this time all the things that is to be known is all where on this pragnya only everything whether it is past or future or present or whatever it is entirely it is about the whole thing is only this pragna any nya is pragna only any knowledge in cognition awareness it's all the whole world experience is pragna only no is there anything where the pragna is not there whether it is past or present or future or deep sleep or sushupti or swapna or waken or whatever it is the gnaha is always there it's called satta samanyam satta is nyapti only it is all one pervaded by one awareness everything is whether it is past present or future bhuloka pur loka suvar loka all three lokas three lokas three points in time three gunas any three you take you can say it is pervaded by pragnya gnyapti hi satta samanya that is why this tripundra we need to understand why tripundra vishesha is there because it rep- the pundra the basma stands for shuddha chaitanya pure consciousness nothing else satta alone pragnya why i am saying this why suddenly i am talking about tripundra basma because bhuta bhavishyat sarva vishaya gnatrutvam is talking about past present and future are three states and three states is all pragnya and that is what is our siddhanta if that is a siddhanta and the pundra that we have the symbol that we display has to represent our siddhanta i am a vishishta advaiti or i am a dvaiti or i am an advaiti to represent only the pundra is there no it's not for style that itself people don't understand these days and then it go to mirror and then put this much vibhuti and this much only why it's not like makeup that's how it has been reduced today i look better with a dot like women do no it's like that men also now first of all 90% they don't display anything that's a different thing more than 90% and here and there few people put also is because they look better with that that's not the point I mean, all this pundra came to represent the siddhanta that you are anuya is so here tripundra is to denote that my siddhanta is satta samanyam 
in three states of experience in three worlds of experience in three times of experience in triguna experience i see that all that is there is only chit matram it's all pragnya only pragnya eva pragnya prakarshena jnanati iti pragnya therefore that is bhuta bhavishyat ज्ञातृत्वं सर्व विषय ज्ञातृत्वं अस्य एव इति प्राज्ञः सो ऑल द थ्री टाइम्स पास्ट प्रेजेंट एंड फ्यूचर इज देयर इन दिस अवेयरनेस सो इट इज कॉल्ड प्राज्ञः बिकॉज़ इट इज नॉट जस्ट न्यप्ति अलोन इट इज इन थ्री पॉइंट्स ऑफ टाइम सो दैट प्रकर्षत्वं is added instead of just saying nya it says pragnya there is a glorification there is an element of glorification because it's three points in time sushupto api hi bhuta purva gatya pragnya ujjhate then you can ask this question why in the deep sleep state it is called pragnya bahish pragnya i can understand antah pragnya i can understand here it is only pragnya and then you are saying three states there is no three states here it's only ghana pragnya na ghana is okay why pragnya he says bhuta purva gatya even though it is deep sleep but whatever has gone before and what is going to come it is pragnya because it is a mukham dwaram from which only all dream and deep sleep uh, wake and everything comes therefore it can call it pragnya or he gives another explanation athava pragnyapti matram asyaiva asadharanam roopam iti pragnya asadharanam roopam this is a term typically used by nayayikas असाधारणत्वम इज अ धर्म हाउ डू यू धर्म व्हाट इज अ धर्म व्हाट हाउ डू यू व्हाट इज अ लक्ष्य गोहो शासनादिमत्वम व्हाट इज अ कौ हाउ डू यू डिफाइन अ कौ व्हाट इज अ लक्षणम ऑफ अ कौ इट शुड हैव द फ्लैप इन इट्स नेक दैट इज द यूनिकनेस दैट डिफाइन्स अ गौ अ कौ गोहो शासनादिमत्वम there are other things you can say goho ekashapatvam goho shringitvam sal tarka so what has a horn is a cow you can't say because even a buffalo has horn so avyapti ativyapti asambhava like that there are different kinds of doshas defects in definitions goho kapilatvam that which is in ash color is a cow you can't say because there is ativyapti alakshya vritti is there the gray color or ash color can be there in a buffalo can be there in a horse that is ativyapti or avyapti like every cow is not ash color that is also there so avyapti some cows have white color some cows are in brown color likewise goho shringitvam like that there is and uh, there is a ekashapatvam it has one you know yes uh, kolumbu right what is it called in the it's okay these are lakshanas lakshana doshas so how do you define a cow sasnadiman cow sasnadimat gau that which has the flap in the in the neck sasnadimatvam goho lakshanam and that is called asadharana dharmatvam asadharana dharma means unique characteristics by which it can be defined in fact the nayayikas go define what is asadharanatvam lakshita avachchedaka samaniyatvam asadharanatvam so in the lakshya in the object that you are trying to define 
it there is a quality lakshita avachedakam means there is a it possesses a quality which is called sama it has a samaniyatva aspect in it this flap in the neck has a samaniyatvam there is a vyapakatvam and vyapyatvam both are there okay so it's a little complicated in tarka we have to i don't think we have time today it is called asadharana dharmatvam a unique way of defining it that is asadharana roopam here is yes prajnapti matram asyaiva asadharanam roopam iti prajna so what uniquely defines a deep sleep is it being only awareness with the avyagrata therefore it is called prajna itarayoho visishtam api vijnanam asti sahayam prajna tritiya padha this is the third state first was bahishprajna second is antaprajna third is prajnana ghana which is also called prajna and this is the third okay so having defined this actually upanishad makes a bold statement here we will see in the next class but i will introduce it and then we will see in the next class yesha sarveshwarah yesha sarvajnah yesha antaryami yesha yonih sarvasya prabhavapyayau hi bhutanam this prajna this chaitanya vastu is sarveshwara it is the abhinna nimitto padana karana yesha sarvajnah it is the one which is conscious of everything It is the antaryami. It is the yoni. Sarvasya. So this is Mahavakya. Already there was one Mahavakya. This is also a Mahavakya because it was talking about your deep sleep state, and then it says that is the Ishvara. That is Sarva antaryami. It's a prava prava apyayohi bhuta naam. It is the from which everything has got created and within which everything is going to attain laya this we are prajnapti swarupa is the cause and effect of the whole creation so it is making this very bold statement and then actually karika starts om purnamadah purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओं